Hi everyone, it's Mary from Our Life B3. Welcome to our channel. In this video, we're going to cover day four of my recent trip to Israel. We start the day from our hotel, the Olive Tree, and head toward the Mount of Olives. Once at the Mount of Olives, we visited Church of the Pater Noster. interesting outside of the actual church on the walls uh, within the garden area and the courtyards are the Lord's Prayer in all of the different languages and this is where Jesus taught his disciples to pray in the manner that he would pray we descended the Mount of Olives towards the Garden of Gethsemane. On the way down, there were beautiful views overlooking Jerusalem. Once at the Garden of Gethsemane, we visited the Church of All Nations, which has the Rock of Agony. And this is the location where Jesus spent the night prior to being arrested. And it's, it's the point where he was under so much stress that he actually sweat blood. There were many olive trees located in the garden, um, dating over 2,000 years old, so back to the time of Jesus. From the garden, we headed to the Western Wall, also known as the Wailing Wall. Prior to getting to the wall, um, just on the outside, we stopped to see some of the machinery that was used to move the stones uh, back in ancient times. It was a kind of a crane of sorts. So the equipment behind me is how they used to handle the stone and get the stone out. It was a pretty ingenious way for them to move those heavy stones and larger stones back in the day. There were many people showing respect at the wall. I was able to get a nice video of my mom and cousin where they said a little prayer and inserted their prayer into the wall itself. From 
along the Western Wall, we headed to the location of the Last Supper. Heading to the place of the Last Supper. The location was actually in an upper room. Um, I guess what it would have been within a sanctuary or a home at the time. After leaving the upper room where the last supper was located, we headed to one of the two locations where Mary was said to have gone to sleep or passed away. One of the locations is actually in Turkey, and the other location is in Jerusalem, in the Benedictine Church. Unfortunately, no one knows for sure where she did pass, but it is agreed upon that it was either in Turkey or in Jerusalem. After exploring this church a little bit, we headed to a sacred pit. Even though Jesus wasn't necessarily taken there, um, it gave us a good feel for a type of place that he would have been taken to uh, after he was arrested. The statue at the pit was one of my favorites that I have ever seen of Jesus. I could feel agony in what he was going through. The pit was kind of smaller in nature and, and round. There wasn't very much light, and there he would have been tortured. We ended our day at the pit and headed back to the hotel. So next up is day five, Dead Sea, Bethany, and the River Jordan. Until next time, keep it between the lines. Safe travels, everyone.